So the question is, why does wine sometimes stain your teeth immediately? I'm not talking about the long-term stain. Today, I'm talking about that temporary stain that occurs right after you take a sip of that red wine. Whether it's your gums, your teeth, your tongue, your whole entire mouth that turns red. That same occurrence can happen with a red or blue slushy. You know what I'm talking about when you have a slurpee or whatever and all of a sudden you have a blue mouth. So yes, this video will be all about why that immediate temporary stain happens and what you can do to make it look better. I used to wonder if this immediate stain was occurring because of the person or because of the beverage. So what I found is that this immediate temporary stain can happen from both reasons, from both the person and the wine. First, let's talk about the person. Generally, wine is not staining the teeth themselves. It's staining the plaque and debris, which is on your teeth or gums or tongue anywhere in your mouth. And even if you have excellent oral hygiene and you're like, but I don't get plaque on my teeth and I've had wine make my teeth look red before. It could be because you just ate a food that is super carby. Carby, like carbs, like a graham cracker or something. Think about how bread and carby stuff sticks to everything in your mouth after you eat it. That gooiness on your teeth mouth, tongue, etc., is what the wine color is actually attaching to. So it could be dependent on what you've eaten that day and how long since you've last brushed your teeth. Maybe you're going out to drinks after work, maybe you haven't brushed your teeth since the morning. Plaque starts building up fast on some people. And the wine, red wine color, may stain quicker if you don't have perfectly clean mouth at that given moment you take your first sip. The solution to this is brush and floss before before taking a sip. Another factor that can relate to the person is your age. Maybe you're like, wine never used to stain my teeth and now it does. As we get older, our teeth start to wear and tear and you start to get sometimes little cracks, which makes it easier for your teeth to absorb the color from wine. So maybe you have no plaque at all, you brushed and flossed before you had your wine, it's still staining. I guess you just got old? Also, before the solution, one other thing that relates to age, and then we'll give the solution for both, is that wine can also stain easier if you have a dry mouth because your saliva isn't there to help neutralize the pH in your mouth. And since dry mouth is another thing that sometimes occurs when you get older because you're taking a lot of medications, I'm tying it into the solution, and the solution is for age is to eat as you drink. There's a reason why they pair cheese with wine. It helps act as a barrier for the acid in red wine and neutralize the pH in your mouth. I like cheese. And next is the wine itself. Sometimes you could have perfectly smooth, clean teeth, perfectly young teeth with lots of saliva flowing, but the wine itself, like the grade of wine or the body of wine, can contribute to the immediate or temporary staining of your teeth. Each brand or bottle of wine has its own unique, intensely colored pigments that can cling to your enamel and stain your teeth. For this solution, the best thing you could do to avoid the staining is to try and sip water along with your wine. So you gotta be double fisting it. One water and one wine. Rinsing with water in between sips will both keep your teeth shiny and keep your body hydrated. Two good things in one. One last thing to note is right after you finish drinking wine, do not brush right away. Wait at least 30 minutes before you brush your teeth. This allows your enamel to recalcify. It gives it some time so you can prevent damage of actually brushing the stains in. But there are some things you can do right away, right after you drink wine. If you have that stain, you can rinse with water right away, of course. And you can also wipe stains away with gauze. I know it seems silly to use gauze, or you don't be really walking around with gauze, but if you just damp, you know, make it damp, put some water on it and wipe your stains away, it's a lot less abrasive than using a toothbrush. And of course, lastly, if you want something more elegant than gauze, you could carry around these cute little wine wipes. This company, The Vanity Project, has ones that are called wine wipes and ones that are called pearly wipes, which are more for like coffee and tea stains, but you can use either for your wine, whichever you prefer. And they look a little cuter if you're carrying them around in a bag than a piece of medical gauze. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe and share. And let me know in the comments if you're listening because this has happened to you, the immediate staining has happened to you, or if you're listening for a friend because you've noticed your friend always gets like bright red teeth after they drink after you're out drinking and you're like girl I need to help you I also have a discount code for the wine wipes in the bottom bar you get 20% off and I'll be doing a giveaway 
for the Wine Wipes on my Instagram page in two days on Thursday for Valentine's Day. So stay tuned on at Teeth Talk Girl. Until next Teeth Talk Tuesday, peace, love, and teeth. Extra love because it's Valentine's Day week. <laughs> I'm trying to make that look gross. Was it gross?